What's up, fellow movie buffs and film connoisseurs? It is your self-proclaimed cinema showgun here, and the war rages on. The war between WB and Zack Snyder rages on. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you probably have heard of this little controversy that's been stirred up online lately. You know, there's been a debate going on whether or not Batman gives head. Now, I know this is kind of weird, and if you haven't heard of it, this is going to hit you right from left field, but... The creators of the Harley Quinn show over on HBO Max, it's like an adult animated Harley Quinn show, they wanted to include a scene where Batman goes down on Catwoman. Now, the folks over at WB and DC Comics said, uh-uh, that's not happening. They pulled it from the show, and they said that, you know, that this is a hero that they have to sell toys of, and different things like that, and they just couldn't have Batman going down on anyone in any of these cartoons. Now... How you feel about it is neither here nor there. It caused, like, quite the controversy online. There's an ongoing debate. There's discourse. There's a lot of conversations going on around this. And Zack Snyder himself decided to enter the debate with this tweet, which is possibly the hottest take yet. I think this this tweet basically sums up this whole controversy. And he basically posts this picture. I guess he commissioned this artwork himself. Because we can't find this artwork anywhere online. So I'm guessing Zack Snyder paid an independent artist to actually create this for him. But anyway, he posts this picture of Batman going down on Catwoman and says simply one word, canon. That's all he had to say and it lit the internet on fire. So of course, you know, there's a lot of people rallying around Zack Snyder like, yeah, we want to see Batman, you know, go down to Catwoman. But, you know, we kind of felt like, you know... It was kind of blowing over a little bit. You know, the, 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 there's still debates going on. There's still a little conversation, you know, going on on social media surrounding it. But it was blowing over. We were moving on to new things. But no, the story is not over. Now, when I initially covered this story, I said that I feel like this will have ramifications. Because WB pulled this type of scene from their, you know, animated show. So, of course, they wouldn't want one of their directors or former directors of a Justice League movie tweeting something like this. So, I felt like they would obviously have a problem. And I also felt like the fact that Zack Snyder tweeted it and, tried, and you know, entered into this conversation with this was a straight-up jab at Warner Bros. You know, he has, you know, he feels strongly about people, you know, I guess messing with, you know, directors and writers' products. So, when he realized that, you know, WB was tampering with the Harley Quinn show, I felt like he wanted to step in, you know, hit him with a quick jab because they tampered with his Snyder cut. So, you know, you know, all that drama that's going on. So he entered the chat, hit him with a quick jab with this little tweet, and we thought it was over. But no, WB has responded. WB has now hit that picture with a copyright strike and had it taken down from Twitter. Now the tweet is still up, but you cannot see the photo. So it's like, oh crap. So not only is WB obviously upset about this, but they acknowledged it and they took action against it. Now it's not, it doesn't end there. It doesn't end there. Zack Snyder literally goes to Vero. He posts a picture a screenshot of how the fact that they copyrighted his tweet and then says, if I advance, just those three words, if I advance. And a lot of people were sitting here like, what does this mean? What does this mean? Why would he post a picture of this, of this, you know, copyrighted tweet, you know, and say, if I advance, well, basically I'm pretty sure what it means is, Hey, if by some miracle, I'm able to continue the Snyderverse, you know, Warner brothers, is going through a lot of stuff right now. You know, it's under new ownership. There's going to be a lot of moves happening, you know, in the, the heads of Warner Bros. Like the offices, man, there's going to be a lot of power shifts happening here. So he's still like on Vero and different social medias championing his own fan base on that it's still possible. And I believe this right here is when he says, if I advance and post, you know, a screenshot of this copyrighted tweet, I have to believe that if he advances with the Snyderverse, if by some miracle he's able to advance with the Snyderverse, he will include a scene with Batman going down on Catwoman. That's basically what he's saying here. And it's got his fan base hype. It's not something that I want to see in a movie. And quite frankly, I'm not, I don't really need to see any Snyderverse movies going forward. But hey, it's interesting. It's funny, you know? It's funny to see this director... And this movie company, like, going back and forth, like, with subliminal jabs. You know, 
Warner Bros. It hasn't just been sitting back saying nothing. They've been sending their own shots throughout, you know, different tabloids and different articles as well. So it's not like Warner Bros. is just sitting here doing nothing. I feel like the director and people over at Warner Bros. are shooting, are sending shots back and forth constantly. And this is just the latest in the war between Zack Snyder and WB. But I want to know how do you feel about this debate? Can Batman go down on someone? Let me know down in the comments below. How do you feel about all this? How do you feel this affects the future of the possibility of the Snyderverse? Because I got to believe that Zack Snyder is, if his bridges aren't all already burnt, he's continuing to burn more. Now, I personally think this is cool. I think it's funny. I like that he's standing up against um, these movie companies. I'm not necessarily a big fan of his work, but I like someone who stand up, like who's not afraid to stand up for what they believe in and for their, you know, body of work, because that's the type of person I am as well. So I respect it. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe button. Please hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated on all of my future uploads. But as always, I want you to find some time out of your day to go watch a movie.